Jerry with uh, Portland Fire and Rescue. Terry. Terry with a T. Oh, Terry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no. You're fine. Okay. And uh, just, you know, tell us how you got involved here with uh, okay. Dream Run. So my name is Terry Kimmins, Portland Fire and Rescue. Um, I'm a, a Portland native, born and raised in the Northeast. Yep. Uh, went to Benson High School, and okay. um, I was at the barbershop, and I seen a flyer that Portland Fire was hiring. Wow. This was about 22 years ago. And... Um, and I decided to take the test and see what would happen, and, and they kept calling me back, and I kept going back, and uh, it's been a, it's an amazing career, and I, I recommend it for for anyone looking for some, some something to do uh, that's fulfilling and exciting, yeah, and giving back to the community. Yes, yes, very well said. And, you know, I just want to hear you know your thoughts on like you're here in the present, in the moment. You know, how do you feel being here at the Evok Dream in this event? Well, you know, it's amazing that you know because you know being a part of Portland Fire and Rescue. Well, we support you know the communities that we live in. Yeah, and so being able to to be a part of the community as they celebrate the MLK Dream Run, and and just you know being here in that presence and, and letting people know that we're a part of the neighborhood also. Okay, well, you know, very well said. So I have a few questions for you, uh, just about climate change and you know your thoughts, you know, and how what you've been doing, you know, personally, or you know what uh, Portland Fire and Rescue have been doing. Um, so first question is, how are you or how do you plan to con uh, to contribute to environmental justice? Well, I think it's important. I think it's a, it's a team effort. You know, and Portland Fire is committed, and the city of Portland is committed to, to helping our environment with, with, uh, with you know, um, climate-friendly vehicles and, and, and stations and things like that. So luckily, we're, you know, we're all in it together because it's... It's just one planet, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then all the stations we also recycle, and, and we, we we do we make sure that we recycle and, and 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 do our part to to help the environment also. Yeah, we are all in this together, so we need every single person, everybody out here, you know, helping us, you know, with environmental justice, making sure that you know we take care of our our earth, we take care of our climate. Hashtag Earth Meets Allies. Oh, I like it. Yes, <laughs> I like it. So my next question for you is, what do you think it means to be Earth's ally? To be Earth's ally, that's a great question. So I think, you know, I think it's on the same lines that, you know, that we are, um, we're a part of all this and and we have to take care of the Earth. Yes. You know, we have to take care of what's around us so that, you know, we talk about generational wealth and passing things down to our kids, but it's also, we got to remember that we got to pass this Earth down to our kids, Yes. you know, and that this is all they have. So if we can do our part to, to, to help the environment and to to make sure that there's green spaces for our kids to live in and play in and things like that so that they can experience what we had when we had, you know when I was their age. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, just recently there's, you know, wildfires in, you know, central southern Oregon. You know, those those are things I you know, I think about. Um, like those are things that, you know, didn't really happen often when like I was a kid and stuff, but it's happened like two of the past three years I, I wanna say. So Right. And on that line though is that, you know, wildfires have been happening for Generations, yeah, you know, they've always been happening, it's, and that's just nature's way of, of regenerating itself, yeah. But you know, as we started moving out, you know, putting homes and things in the forest, then that's where it's kind of increased. And you know, we have we have the literature on what you can do to safeguard your area if you're living in a wildland area, yeah, just to kind of keep you safe and your family safe, and use like using uh, friendly shrubs and 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 non combustible siding and having sprinklers in your home also helps, okay. So um, next question is if people wanted to, you know, learn more about like what you all do or, you know, wanted to, you know, get some tips, tricks or some advice from you all, where, what are some ways they can reach out to you all? Or... Good question. So, you know, we, we have a website up and they can always just Google Portland Fire and Rescue. Yep. And we have some great information on, on our requirements for, for, for recruiting and what we're looking for and how to be a firefighter. And luckily right now we're, we're in the recruiting phase right now. So I recommend all your listeners and, and the viewers, you know, take a look at the website and contact our recruiter. And then if, you, if you're near a station, knock on the door, you know, ring the doorbell and, and say you're interested and, you know, ask for a tour just to kind of see, you know, what it's like inside the station and what they do. We'll be happy to show you guys around, you know, yeah. whoever around for sure. Well, Terry, you know, thank you for coming out. Thank you for joining the interview. Thank you for being a part of this community. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.